lay down. And then we slide this in a little closer. Comfy. <laughs> okay, comfy. So, um, have you used tape or sorry, uh, tape adhesive uh, off skin before? Uh, On your skin. So we're gonna use this. Um, it makes it more sticky, so the tape job will be more effective. Um, yeah, generally I want you to know, like, if you have any sort of allergic reaction or it seems like you're getting redness or swelling in association with any kind of taping product, you want to take it off, wash with soap and water. Um, yeah, so here we are, we're going for um, kind of step two in an Achille, or sorry, uh, a shin splints tape job where um, like uh, kinesio taping or K-taping just uh, made a bit of a difference. It's a nice one because that could stay on for three days. It's a great one to send them away with them sometimes after an event or if you can see them before an event and you can and, and, and get it done and then they can have it and it'll last. Whereas this one is really gonna last for like one practice or one game, right? So we're gonna do um, an arch support tape job. And like understanding that clinically there are almost always way more things that we can assess and treat than what this tape job shows, right? So tape job is sort of like your band-aid solution for on the field, um, like just trying to get by. But if we can address why this is happening, that would be much more helpful for her, right? And that's just not the subject of this video or this day. Okay, so here are anchors. Um, just kind of securing that. Notice that I'm pushing into the foot to splay the foot and widen things out as I come along um, so that when she steps down, it's going to be comfortable. Um, this is like a teardrop coming up next. You could use half strips or full strips, and I'm going to use full. Um, Notice that I'm not asking her to hold her foot up. I want her foot relaxed. So the purpose is to try to bring the ball of the foot down towards the ground. And um, so the first bit here is just kind of getting that anchor in. The second bit, as I wind around the heel, sends me back towards here. That's what's going to help to hold the foot in that position. So it's giving her that support. Two of those. So something like that. Now we're going to start with our anchors. Um, from the outside working our way in so this is the kind of action or the position that we want to facilitate for the heel is to pull the heel in while this comes down and that's giving her a deeper arch so our anchors from the outside or from the back start start on the outside and end on the inside it's having that kind of action um, so that's you know it's called supination and um, supination is what she's really having a hard time controlling or you know, she's not functioning well in supination. She's going into a more flat-footed position and that's why she's getting sore up here and these muscles are getting overworked. Once we get about three of those strips in, then we're gonna kind of get onto the medial side and we're pulling down and kind of working our way around there. And then I'm gonna kind of close up all of those strips, just kind of working across here. And I'm gonna finish my last couple of anchors. Working really hard to kind of splay the foot at this point so that um, it minimizes the chance that she'll feel a lot of compression on the foot when she stands up. There we go. 
So like that. And then you can stand up and you can try. First of all, we were getting a little bit of pain with just standing. So we want to see, just putting weight on it. Do you feel, are you getting any pain? Chin pain still? Yeah, pretty tight. Um, do you feel pain on the outside of your foot? No. So, so you're getting used to having your foot propelled in that position by tape, and it is, it's a restrictive tape job. It's meant to be tight. So um, next we can look at your two foot, kind of just a little hop, not a big one. Going on there, yeah. It's gonna stretch, so I wanna, so first just tell me, are you getting pain? Yeah. Okay. And then, and then if we do, um, yeah, a little bit higher. Good. Yeah, no pain in the shins. Can you go for a full jump? Good. Yeah. Um, and then how about like a, a single foot? No. Okay. So this is. So, you know, she's feeling a little bit of irritation around where the tape is there at the back, um, but her pain levels are down. Um, I think we could look at, you know, maybe manually just stretching the tape to make sure that she feels a little bit more comfortable or possibly extending some of her anchors up a little bit higher so it distributes the force around that area a little bit. Um, and then, uh, aside from that, just knowing as well that this tape is stretchy and it's gonna stretch, like, it's gonna loosen quite a bit over the course of the first five minutes or so. Um, but what we don't want to do is we don't want to give people blisters, right? So probably just at least giving her a couple of support strips that come up a little higher and distribute the forces would be nice. Um, and then, uh, but yeah, it's looking kind of encouraging, right? So why don't we just do that quickly? I think that's 